How's it going? I just started on the Grafton Loop Trail in New Rye, Maine. Uh, I'm only about maybe 50 yards from the trailhead when I first got here. There were about uh, 10 cars in the parking lot and just as I was getting my gear set, I saw uh, three different groups of people come to their cars. So um, they all looked like they were out for just a day hike. Uh, so this trail, Grafton Loop Trail, is uh, close to a 40 mile loop. Um, and that's the one trailhead. So the rest of those cars could be other day hikers. It could be people who also started the loop today or it could be folks that have been out for a couple days on the trail so far. Um, so who knows who else I'll see the rest of the time I'm here. Um, as I mentioned, it's about a 40 mile loop. I'm only gonna be doing the first, uh, up to the first campsite tonight, uh, spending the night there and then hiking back the same way tomorrow. I'm just gonna do one overnighter. I, uh, I'm doing the east side of the loop, starting from the trailhead, going up over Puzzle Mountain and spending my night at the Stewart campsite. It's about five miles to get to the Stewart campsite, maybe a little under. And um, again, spend the night there and tomorrow morning I'll do that same five miles in reverse, get back to the car. So uh, this is really my first backpacking overnighter. I've done a lot of kind of car camping or camping where I'm not really having to do a lot of hiking in. And I've also done a fair bit of hiking, but more just day trips. Um, so for me, it's gonna be a real test of myself, test of my gear, getting to a little fire road. Uh, the first stretch of this trail, actually the first 10 miles or so, goes through private land. Um, so no fires allowed in this area. I've got my camp stove with me. Uh, so I'll be cooking on that tonight instead of a fire. So as I mentioned, uh, it'll be kind of a real test of my stuff and and see how I feel. And um, I don't know, excited to uh, have you join me. And hopefully I'll make this video interesting, try and stop along the way, show some things, show uh, the setup of my camp, cooking and all that. So. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned for the rest of the trip. So it's been about 50 minutes uh, so far and about right after I, I turned the camera off earlier, I passed another group, uh, a couple of groups of day hikers. In total, I think there's probably been about four groups of day hikers that I've gone past and uh, another large youth group that was maybe 10 or 12 people. Um, so I think that accounts for most of the cars that were in the lot. We'll see how many people are, you know, I, I might still pass, I'm not sure. Uh, so far, it's been pretty flat. We're just starting to get some of our first um, elevation. The trail goes up here. It's a Blue Blaze Trail. And uh, just stopping for a minute to have something to eat and some water. Um, there is a little uh, stream running down this way. Um, I'm going to continue to risk it and uh, hope that there's more water up at the campsite. If I need to, when I get there, I should have enough time that I can go past the site and uh, get water at a different location if needed, but I really want to avoid getting more water now because I don't want to take the extra weight. So I'll keep going here and I'll check in again as we get higher up uh, to Puzzle Mountain. Okay, we're getting to our kind of first opening. It's probably very difficult to see through the haze there, but I believe that's old spec. As I mentioned before, this is a loop trail and uh, we're on the eastern half of it. So all of our, um, a lot of our viewpoints from this side of the trail are gonna be looking kind of into the middle of the loop and across to the other peaks. Um, so this is really our first view. Uh, that last section that I came up, it just started to flatten out here and I got some switchbacks, but it was pretty steep. Uh, there's really sections of this trail which are real butt kicker, um, especially right now. 
probably look extremely sweaty. Uh, it's about probably 80, 85 degrees today. I've lucked out so far that I've been under tree cover for the most part. Um, so I haven't had direct sun, but it's hot. And my pack weight, uh, total pack weight's about 28 pounds, um, maybe a little bit over with some of my camera stuff and electronics. Um, but that's including, I had uh, two and a half liters of water and then my food. So it's, um, I'm not, not going lightweight again. It's kind of first time doing this, this type of thing. So I took the gear that I have, um, and that's what I, my weight came out to. So we'll continue on. Um, you can see here, there's a sign showing, I mentioned before that, uh, this section of the trail is going through, um, private land. So, uh, this loop was actually, uh, it's, it's only a little over 10 years old. I think that it was started. Um, and it goes through the Stewart family preserve. I'm staying at the Stewart campsite tonight. Um, so it's all part of the Mahusik Land Trust. It connects into uh, Grafton Notch State Park, I think it's called. I'll annotate if that's something called something different, but um, but it is going through private land, so that's where there's the fire restrictions and that sort of thing. The trail's been really nice so far. Um, it is a, a really well-traveled section, so I have seen a, it's it's been you know lots of roots and rocks. Um, but it's been nice, and uh, even though it is well traveled, I haven't seen any trash or debris or anything like that. So it looks like everybody that goes through this area um, really respects the, the land and the opportunity that we have to have this kind of private land use. So that's encouraging to see. Um, all right, so I'll uh, get back to you as we get some more views. Here's an even better look through to the other side of the loop. See all down in the middle of the trail there, or middle, middle of the loop. It's really beautiful out here. Just filled out a registration card in the box here. Um, I don't know how often they empty those out, but the box seems pretty full. You can you can't you can't get into where all the cards are, but it was kind of overrunning with cards, so um, definitely pretty full. And we're getting up here to another great set of views. This is the most open we've been so far. A bit windy. I'm trying to keep my hat on. So if I were to do the full loop, I'd be hitting most of these peaks that you see on the other side here as part of the, the complete loop. And that'll bring you back to where the car is. It's just gorgeous. Okay, we've reached the trail marker. Let's see that we're intersecting with the Woodsome Spur Trail, which is just a loop trail um that goes kind of from this point up to the summit so hopefully you can see that there and right about in that area where that intersection is is where we are right now um, but you can see some discrepancies so we got a 3.2 that's back to the car so you can see where the grafton loop trail intersects with the road on our left hand side it says it's 3.2 from where we are now back to there but on the sign it says route 26 2.6 so that's a bit strange and then it says southwest summit pleasant uh, or puzzle puzzle mountain i might have said pleasant before that's sort of another um mountain that i hiked over the winter uh, but it says a half mile to the summit here and on the map 
it says four tenths. So or it, it might be four tenths to that intersection again. Maybe it's another tenth of a mile to the real summit. I'm not sure, but the 2.6 versus 3.2 is a bit strange. Um, we'll continue on. At, uh, it, it at least makes some sense where we're at. And uh, we're doing pretty well on time. It's been about an hour and uh, hour and 35 minutes maybe. And feeling pretty good. All right, we've reached our summit. I'll take a quick look around. It's gorgeous. Might be able to just see from there off in the distance. I think that's a look at the White Mountains. I'll try and look at the map and figure out exactly what's off in that direction. Hopefully, this is all coming through. And this is looking back in through um, in through the uh, the loop itself. You can see the saddle over here on that side. Oh, my finger might have been covering. Uh, you can see the saddle over here, and you've got a couple other peaks. I'll try and annotate it and what everything is. And that's looking down into the rest of the loop. And it was a pretty good hike up. Again, it's, uh, it's pretty hot. So the breeze feels really nice right now, but it was, um, it was definitely hot way up I was sweating a lot. Uh, pack felt okay and my legs just feel pretty good. Um, so I've still got another uh, little ways or a good chunk actually to go to get to my campsite. Um, so I'll progress on to that and uh, pick up along the way.